Hey now, Halloween hounds, it is Black Metal Werewolf making a brand new video for you today, and as per tradition, we are going to be carving ourselves up another pumpkin. So I don't know about you guys, but doing these jack-o'-lantern videos every year on my YouTube channel is probably my favorite thing to do during the Halloween season. I want to say it's nostalgic, but that's not 100% the case, because as I've said before, growing up, my parents absolutely hated Halloween, which is so strange because I love everything about the season. But when I was a kid, anytime I wanted to do some sort of Halloween activity, be it carving a pumpkin or going to a haunted house or a hayride or something, my parents always acted like it was some giant inconvenience. Not that I never did those things because, uh, you know, we'd go on school trips or do something in class or I'd go to a friend's house and do it with their family. So I guess uh, in a way being able to do all these pumpkins now was like my adult way of reliving all the things I missed out on as a kid. But to me there really isn't anything more enjoyable than being able to sit down, crack open a pumpkin, get all the goo and the guts all over your hands, carve a spooky face into it. All of while watching uh, It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, because that's just a pumpkin carving classic, and you can't do one without the other. It just wouldn't be pumpkin carving without that movie. So this is actually the third jack-o'-lantern I've done this year, and you'll be seeing the other two I did at the end of the video as I put them all together and light them up. But for this year's look, I tried to go with more of a tormented or mournful face because usually when I do jack-o'-lanterns I usually go for like the angry spooky pointed eyes pointed teeth but this one I went with like more rounded features but I also wanted to make it look like the eyes and the mouth were like melting shut or sewn shut I don't know just that idea always scared me like having my eyes and mouth sewn shut it's obviously a pretty common fear, I would think, because that's uh, not something anybody would want to experience. But I thought it would be pretty interesting to do that on a jack-o'-lantern. I did something like that a few years ago, I think two years ago or whatever. Um, and it turned out really well, so this year I wanted to do like more with the eyes and the mouth and everything. So as you can see, whenever I do jack-o'-lanterns, I usually keep them pretty simple. Mostly because in past years I've tried to do more complex ones. But every time I do it, it always turns out like shit. Uh, I want to do more complex jack-o'-lanterns. The problem is I'm just not that artistic, unfortunately. So uh, I try to be creative with the simple ideas. Because last thing I want to do is buy a pumpkin, gut it, have all these cool creative ideas, and then carve it, and then have it look like total garbage, and then totally waste my time, and waste a jack-o'-lantern. I want to I show these off. I don't want to have a crappy-looking jack-o'-lantern, you know? For anybody who is interested in seeing more uh, complex pumpkins, I highly suggest looking for the TV show called Outrageous Pumpkins on the Food Network. If you don't have that channel, at least try to find it online. All it really is is a pumpkin carving challenge television show. They get these masters of the trade and they give them a series of challenges to do every episode and then they try to fit it in their artistic way. It doesn't sound that impressive, but trust me, when you sit down and watch it, it's really cool and amazing to see what these people can do with a jack-o'-lantern or several different pumpkins. It's it's really cool and inspires me whenever I watch it. Like I said, I'm not that artistic, but I love seeing what other people can do. So now you guys can see the other jack-o'-lanterns I did this year. So the one on the left, I wanted to go with like a mutant alien spider because the year, I think it was last year, I did a jack-o'-lantern with a whole bunch of different eyes on it and I thought it looked really cool. So this time I thought, well, spiders have a bunch of different eyes. So let's take the idea of a spider and give it more fangs and make the eyes really mean. And I thought it turned out really well this year on that mutant spider pumpkin. As for the jack-o'-lantern on the right, I originally wanted to go with like a scarecrow face, but looking at it now, I don't really think it reads as a scarecrow. I don't think someone would be able to look at that and immediately be able to tell that's what it is without me explaining it. But as I like look at it now, I'm just kind of thinking, well, how the hell are you supposed to do a scarecrow face on a jack-o'-lantern anyway? Regardless, I think it looks pretty cool. For the eyes, I kind of went with Venom from Spider-Man. And for the mouth, I just did like a big twisted smile. And I kind of cut up the mouth in the middle and on the each side just to kind of give it a bit more character. And I think all three of my pumpkins look pretty good once they're lit up. Especially once the light goes out here in a minute, uh, it just kind of, the eyes and everything illuminate and it just really comes together. 
So those are the jack-o'-lanterns I have done so far this year. Of course I want to get more done, so make sure to follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, so you guys can see the other jack-o'-lanterns I've done. But also I want to know what you guys have done with your pumpkins this year. How many have you done? What kind of faces have you put on it? As much as I love doing my own jack-o'-lanterns, I love seeing other people's and their creativity come out in such a cool art form. And as always, a great big thank you to you guys for checking out another one of my videos. And don't forget to stay spooky.